Hello YouTube and welcome to the next text laws video with the new Nexus 7 in the LTE version. So we got our SIM card tray opener here, our four steps guide here. So locate your SIM card tray, it's in the right corner. Push it in and pull your tray out. Then take your micro SIM card place the ship uh, up and slide it in and then back into the Nexus 7. No, it's not yet there and there we go. So we are done. On off button on the Nexus 7 is on the right top. Push it and just one two seconds and no, we have to push it longer, so we push it and push it and push it and push it and wait for the Google logo. There we go. Uh, on the old version of the Nexus 7, we got our SIM card tray on the left side and uh, people ask me, do you feel the SIM card tray? No, you maybe feel the border or, or the, fray, uh, the space uh, around the SIM card tray. Mm, maybe you will, will get dust or sand or stuff in it. This is maybe a little bit too much space or it, it doesn't close with the, with the case, with the back cover here. So there we are. Welcome. Choose your ling uh, language. And then select Wi-Fi. Uh, connect to your Wi-Fi. Put in your password. Obtaining IP address and there we go connecting. Then do you have a Google account? Yes, of course Put in your Google account and Signing in this can take a few minutes not really and As you can notice we already got our Wi-Fi connection and of course our Mobile data connection here can't see yet which one it is backup. No, thanks for the backup location of course Communication no don't keep me up to date a Google Wallet. No, not now. Thank you. And we are done. Now you can type in a name or you can just skip it. And setup is complete. And there we go. Ah, my library and all my stuff. But this is not the background as it is on the cover. So let's first thing of all change the background. Uh, hit to wallpapers and then choose the right Nexus wallpaper. Set wallpaper and way way better so next step let's check out about tablet we got the android version 4.3 here hit it for developer here we go and now we got the lte version of the tablet so let's check it out we got more and way there it is we got tethering and mobile hotspot. We got portable Wi-Fi hotspot, set a Wi-Fi hotspot and of course Bluetooth tethering. The previous version of the Nexus 7 did not have this. So now you can share, share your um, data connect, mobile data connection with your other devices or with your friends or whoever you want. And one uh, little tip, don't use the portable Wi-Fi, uh, don't use Wi-Fi, this will cost you more uh, battery life than choosing just the Bluetooth connection. So if you have only one device uh, pairing up uh, using it uh, tethering with your connection, then definitely you choose the Bluetooth connection. Uh, mobile networks. We got uh, enable data, data roaming, access point names. Uh, use only three 2G networks for to save battery. Network operators. Okay. Mobile manage mobile plan. Okay. So. Uh, this should do it. Let's first look at storage. We got 26.11 gigabytes total space free and we got available 25.85 gigabytes. This should be sufficient for everything you are trying to do with the tablet. And this is it. We are done. This is how to set up your new Nexus 7 tablet. Um, choose brightness up 
to full to max so this is uh, how to set up your new nexus 7 tablet and if you have the lte version how to put in your sim card and check your settings so this is it thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye